Here's a question for you. Have you ever had an allergic reaction from hair care products? Did you know that certain ingredients can cause serious injury and even hair loss? The tox doc, Dr. Noreen Khan Mayberry, is here with more on the hidden dangers. Good morning to you. Good morning, Melissa. Let's talk about those ingredients. Okay. What do we need to be looking out for? Okay, some of the main ingredients you should look for are formaldehyde, and also DMDM, and it, it says DMDM, so I don't have to define the chemical, and also urea, immunodiazole urea and diazovinyl urea, and triclosan. These products can cause a number of issues. They mainly affect the CNS. They can cause dermatitis, which when you're using them in your hair, you don't want anything to cause dermatitis. You don't want to have to be itching when you've just gotten your hair freshly done. And when you say CNS, you're talking about the central nervous I'm system. So this. what symptoms would you see from that? So it can cause slight changes in irritability. It can cause memory loss. And these formaldehyde generators can also cause the um, a lack of ability to lose weight as well. So it can affect you systemically because formaldehyde is really, really toxic and it is used at various levels throughout these hairline products. And, you know, talking about hair, it's very important and there's a lot of shame involved when you're losing hair or spot uh -huh. balding and these ingredients can cause some spot balding and hair loss. So you're there at the salon trying to make your hair look better right. and you don't realize you're making things worse. And we're talking about all kinds of stuff, not just right. getting your hair dyed. So right. it could be a weave that could be in some type yes. of the different glues. Yes, yes. The adhesives, they've had some really extreme reactions, even noted deaths because people did not realize that they were allergic to the ammonia and the natural rubber latex that were in the mm -hmm. adhesives. So I always recommend not using glue, using alternatives, using some of these natural methods, clip-ins or mm -hmm. sew-ons are just so much better for you. I read a lot about oh, make sure you get a pair of paraben-free right. soap or paraben-free right. shampoo. Is that important and why? It's so important because it alters your um, hormones and you don't want anything that's an endocrine disruptor. And so if you're using an endocrine, endocrine disruptor, when your pores are open, you're allowing it more of a chance to get into your body systemically. So you want to stay away from endocrine disruptors. They can also cause ga weight gain. They can also cause memory issues. They can also cause mood changes. Endocrine disruptors can make your life uh, a living hell so you want to stay away from them. Yeah it sounds like it. <laughs> now is it going to say if it does have paraben if it doesn't uh -huh. it's going to say paraben free It'll usually say paraben -free. but if not is it just listed as a paraben in there or does it, it have other words? It will have parabens and it'll, you'll also see phthalates so parabens mm -hmm. and phthalates you will see but it may have another um, root or another word right in front of paraben so just look for that paraben okay. and you, you have to read. And don't let it throw you off because phthalate actually starts with a P doesn't it? Yes, so you yes. might be phthalate looking for a TH. With a P. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And then if, if um, you are going to a salon and you mm -hmm. don't get a list of ingredients, right. I mean, how kosher is it to ask your hairstylist, hey, we well, you know what, what's in this? Well, you know, if your hairstylist isn't proud to talk about their products, then they probably don't do a lot of investigating themselves. There are a lot of hairstylists around Houston that pride themselves in trying to educate themselves and learn more about natural products. And you have to be open and honest. A good hairstylist will examine your scalp and look for any issues as well. Sometimes they can point out issues that you can take to your dermatologist before you even notice them. Okay, thank yeah. you for being here, Dr. Connie Berry. You. Great to see you. Our talk doc keeps thank us in you. the know and makes me shop differently than anybody <laughs> I've ever known. <laughs> well, I, it's a good thing though. I think it is. All right, we'll keep you safe and healthy, Mike. Sometimes you can entertain yourself for hours just looking up those different ingredients on the shampoo bottle. The, the names are incredible.